Hey, what's up guys? Pat Taste Performance here with another video. Yesterday, wifey surprised me with a box from Eastwood and I didn't even need to guess what it was. Um, so obviously we run an older fleet. Uh, Mandingo is a 1996 GMC K3500 with a 6.5 turbo diesel. The Goldenrod, a.k.a. my Hoopty Daily, is a 2000 Saturn SW2. She is choosing to love her 2006 Nissan Altima. And then what uh, What started this purchase was that uh, Mandingo's brake lines were starting to rust away and I've been going to my buddy's house and borrowing his kit and all sorts of craziness. And uh, my wife's like, you know what? You need to have your own. Um... My father's 2005 Avalanche just popped the brake on, so I had to run over to his house, grab the tools, and my wife's like, forget it, you know, I'm going to do it on your own. So uh, anyways, this is going to be the unboxing. Um, I'm not going to use it today, unfortunately, but uh, my wife said that it came in less than 24 hours. So this is going to be the Eastwood Hydraulic Kit. And also their on-car um, flare tool kit as well. Well, it should be in here. I don't know if both are going to be in here. This is the open box. So well packaged, no problem. Into the recycle bin it goes. Let's see. Does it come? Does it say how much she paid? No, it doesn't say how much she paid. But anyway, uh, let me see. Show package tour. What's this? Win some money, sure we can do that. Magazine, like I said, uh, definitely happy with this purchase, so we definitely will be ordering more stuff from Eastwood. Okay, so here is the on-car flaring tool kit. Okay, so you have your lubricant die, your flares, and the kit. So let's, uh, let's open this up and I can explain how this works. Get this pot set up. So the reason why my wife said she chose uh, Eastwood is they weren't the cheapest price uh, for the fan mount kit, but the only what separated <clears throat> Eastwood from everybody else, lifetime guarantee. So that's the only reason why she got it. All right, so here we go. Patent pending, three sixteens. Let's just see. All right, made in Taiwan. So not made here in the USA, which is, it is what it is, but made in Taiwan. Taiwan makes the better tool um, compared to the other overseas countries. Um, if you look at Blue Point, which is by Snap-on, that's Taiwan. Some parts of Gear Wrench are Taiwan. But anyway, so back to school. So we have no issue with this. This is uh not too heavy. Seems pretty seems pretty light. Nothing if you're in a tight spot to cry about. So these are whoops. These are the directions. So let's see. Alright, so basically what happens is is that once you first start your die, right, you're gonna put this and you're going to thread this in then you're going to get your line you're going to back off these nuts these are 10 millimeter stick your line in and this will guarantee that it is sitting flush straight and then once you stick the line in you're going to thread this and it's going to mush it so it's even and then from there you switch these dies i think this one yes so you thread this one in and that'll be your first flare, and then you bring it back out, if memory serves me correct, and then you thread this one in there. And that'll make your double flare. Right, thread A. Yep, perfect. Yeah, so exactly we were right. So you gotta flip it. Silver piece first. But don't forget, as you're threading the, the dye lubricant, you need to put that on the threads. 
as you're putting, as you're tightening this in because you don't want to strip the threads out here and even on the black piece. You got to put this dye lubricant here and here. So I wonder if the dye lubricant, like I love anti-seize. I wonder if anti-seize would be something like that. It's basically, so I, I just touched this. So the dye lubricant is basically like a, like a gel or a wax per se, like a grease. So I'm going to go on a limb here and say that any lubrication is better than none. I mean, honestly, when this dye lubricant runs out, I'm probably going to switch to something that I'm just going to have, you know, on hand, um, which would probably be like Amy C's or like a suspension chassis grease. All right, so let's put this away. We'll switch this over. All right, so there's that. We'll push that to the side. Okay, and then we will bring this over to the toolkit. Big kit, which I like, comes in a box. Let's take this here. Ooh, pretty heavy. Okay, so this is Fairmont Hydraulic Brake Kit, which is very compatible and less expensive than the well-known Master Cool Kit. Also made in Taiwan, but manufactured for the Eastwood Company. So perfect, this will guaranteed for life, printed out all receipts, so any problems, there should be no issue. I've never warranted anything out through Eastwood, but they're a big company, so I think it should not be an issue. So item number is gonna be 331562. And let's see here, this Fabricate, basically GM is what I like, because that's what we run here, except for my wife's car. Push connect, fuel line, single flares, double flares, and 3 16ths is what we need. 3 16ths is what most brake lines are. That's what they are on all my fleet. So like I said, this is supposed to be, you know, the game changer. If anybody has ever operated one of these tools, um, it really makes flaring easy and not a pain and enjoyable. So we're just going to cut this with my snap-on Kershaw knife. Guaranteed, oops, guaranteed for life through my dealer. Let's open this up. Let's take a look. Let's see. Nice size box. Nice size box. Is that a measuring tape for this? Yep. All right, so let's talk about, this is gonna take up tool drawer space or locker space in your toolbox. You're looking at 17 inches by 13 and three quarters of toolbox space. And I know some people like to keep this plastic sleeve. I don't, I don't care. Over time, it's gonna get messed up. So that will end up in the garbage. But what do we have here? This is labeled anyway. So what I like to do is I like to get like a silver paint marker and I like to put it, you know, on the sides here, here, wherever I'm going to stack my toolkit, I actually end up doing like a 360 because God forbid anyway, I want to stack my toolkit. I always know where it is set up in my toolbox or my locker. So here's a cool thing. If you can't fit it in your toolbox or locker and you want to keep your crappy coworkers from it, um, not a great, because it's a plastic case, they have a lock here. You stick a lock in here so no one can't use it. Let's flip this bad boy home. Two clicks on each side here and here, and this is what we got. Now, for, it says here for a replacement manual in case we lose it, we could contact here, and I probably could even download it online. So let's see, the manual is about 11 pages for this manual. Smells good. As so this is our flare tool here. OK, 
Okay, so we're gonna close it. Like, can you guys see the rod ejecting? And then we're gonna release the pressure and see it retract. So that's pretty good, pretty good. You know, so you're not pumping it a million times and you're not waiting. Good, I don't wanna to go too much because then you might blow the seal. All right, so this is definitely a well-made tool. Um, I feel like this is aluminum and uh, probably keeps the weight down. So what do we have here? This is a handle to screw in. All right, so, let's, yeah, so this is gonna screw in here. And this is where our dies are gonna go. all the way down so then obviously we're gonna pick where's our 316 so these are all labeled too that'll help so I don't know if you guys can see that we'll get nice overview how everything is labeled so it should make it nice and easy when you're trying to look for something, there is no guesswork. And if you know something is missing, it's all there. Of course. And this was, so you're gonna stick your fuel line through here, clamp it down. All right, and then you're gonna open up, you're gonna open this up. So it's gonna be, this closed face down, stick that in there, right? Back this off, slide that in. And then 316's OP1. So then you're going to stick your die in here. So remember you have to create flat surface. So now we need to just back this off a little bit. Now remember you gotta make a flat surface. There you go. And you just take your die tool and you stick it in this hole right here. See how it clicks? Right there, I'm doing a lot of stuff off camera. See how we stick this die hole right here? I'm gonna thread this in so it gets nice and tight. To the line as much as possible. See, all right, it stops already. So then you just start pumping and you're gonna feel it. Once it stops, you're gonna release pressure, back it out, and you are good to go. Yeah, so I am definitely excited to use this kit, without a doubt. Um, thank you, Eastwood, for the super fast shipping in case you needed to order this in an emergency. Like I said, in less than 24 hours, this was delivered. And my wife says she was able to Google a coupon for everything. And I don't remember what the coupon was. But if memory serves me correct, she says it came out to less than $290. Why does $288 ring a bell? Um, I will double check with her. Like I said, this was a surprise or a gift, but I figure before I get dirty or I get busy, I'm just on threading this, I will make a video help you guys out. So now, when you pop a brake line, instead of cringing, you will be very happy. So this will do your standard brake line, um, except for stainless steel, which I'm not upset about because, I don't know where that went, because nickel copper is what I plan on running as lines blow. Nickel copper is very easy to bend by hand. Um, it's rust proof. This will not do stainless steel, so I know there are kits that you can order for your vehicle 
at a full replacement and they come in stainless steel, you will not be able to do stainless steel. But that is not a big deal. Because then stuff on the fly, stuff for customers, stuff for yourself. Um, yeah, this is going to be it. So, um, yep, the first time I use this, I will post an action video. It probably won't be long. Uh, like I said, I run an older fleet. But if you guys found this video um, helpful, please like, subscribe, share for other, you know, engine related videos. I am a union heavy duty diesel mechanic by trade and I do small engine repair, you know, on the side as well as automotive repair. I mean, how could you be a mechanic and not fix your own stuff? Um, especially brake lines, it's, um, it's not a fine skill trade art, but if you have the right tool, it definitely give you some leverage and this will definitely, you know, give me the leverage that I need because in a diesel world, we don't work with hydraulic lines like this. Everything is air brakes. So anyway, like I said, please subscribe, watch my videos and, uh, I'll do more tool reviews, of uh, from stuff that I buy and stuff that I already use. Um, I'm a big fan of Milwaukee of the M12 series. A lot of people harp on it. I love it. I'll probably do a walkthrough through that. I'm going to do a walkthrough a couple of AirCAD tools that I have that I love. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, whatever, comment, good or bad. I am here for that. I um, appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.